more question before I turn it over to you. I, I just want to just, so we can get an idea of your level of whiteness here. Um, hacky sack. Have you ever played it? Have you ever participated? As, a, as an adult or as a child? In general. Um, <laughs> like, just, just the entire thing of kicking around a beanbag in a yeah. social element. When I was like nine years old, I got a hacky sack for Christmas from my dad. It's a, a last minute dollar store gift. And I think I played with it twice. Gotcha. Prosecution rests. Thank you very much. Is hacky sack even a white people thing? Like, I thought hacky sack was just like. Yo, when's the last time you've seen niggas kicking around a beanbag? I mean, I don't know. I wasn't saying it's a black people thing either. I was. I always chalked it up to like a like a poor, we can't afford a whole soccer ball, so get your footwork skills up there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like I, I mean, I, I've seen children who are like grow up to play soccer or want to play soccer, like mm. utilizing hacky sacks or things similar to hacky sacks. Sometimes things that are not similar, but just like they'll still like, it's kickable in a circle and then that's all. Usually you can use a ball. Like I've usually seen this done uh, on college campuses, uh, weird random places like plazas or something like if you're at, uh, in, like do you know where the waterfront is in Georgetown? They got a lot mm -hmm. of space, they redeveloped all that. That's where I've seen people doing it. It's usually white people that's doing it. Um, and that's where my references come from because I've never seen people of color stand around in a circle and kick a beanbag toward each other. I mean, I agree, I've never seen them with a specific beanbag, no, but like a like a device that like can be used in a similar way. A device. <laughs> like a small soccer ball. Or yeah, like the, like the small soccer balls or like the thing with like the feathers on you know what I'm talking about? Like that the like the Central American people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're always like brown as shit, so I don't think it's white people. That's all I'm just saying like it's got feathers on it? Yeah, it's I don't know, man. I don't look but on beanbags, I just toss them in a, at a hole. That's it. Cornhole, that's yeah. pretty white. I mean, hillbilly golf, cornhole, beanbag toss. Doesn't that count as children's games, though? Mm, I can't say. How many kids do you see playing beanbag toss? Because I usually see it at a bar. I mean, I think they start out in like elementary school. like, a... And then they end up in bars. I don't know the, 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 the pipeline <laughs> in which beanbags have then gone from being kicked to tossed and then putting feathers on. I feel like we need to talk <laughs> about the... <laughs> The history of beanbags and how they're treated in America, <laughs> but uh, I'm turning it over to Kwame for uh, more questions because I just like the the history of beanbags in America. Like that could be taken like <laughs> so left right now. Yo, I want to take it left so bad. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure that's a derogatory term. We just landed on the shoe. <laughs> the shoe landed on us. Type stuff. Oh, I wasn't thinking that. I was like, no. I'm pretty sure that's a racial slur. I don't know oh. for who. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? That term. No, we try to get kids around, sounds, son. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> civil rights movement. And yeah. like, isn't Boston known as Bean Town? Yo, like, is that is that instead of calling somebody here in Boston, like, you fuck out of here, you bean bag? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we kick bean bags around here for fun. It's wicked cool. Wicked, wicked smart. Wicked smart. Now I was gonna say, I mean, to assess someone's level of whiteness, I don't. I think beanbags are the way to do it. I think, um, um, have you ever been driving your car, right? <laughs> Minding your question. fucking business? <laughs> and then somebody of authority just ever interrupt you while you were driving, minding your business, not breaking any laws or anything. And then once they interrupted you, did you feel nervous at any moment when you saw their flashing lights? Or were you just kind of like, what the fuck is this about? Like, were you indifferent about it? Not indifferent, but like, frustrated probably. Like, <laughs> annoyed even. Yeah, yeah, annoyed, but like, did you ever feel like, my life is in danger? I don't think I've ever felt my life is in danger around a, a police officer or an authority figure, per se. Um, but every time I get pulled over, I am always scared, regardless. I don't, I don't know why, but... I always feel like somehow they're gonna pull something, and next thing you know, it's Spurs like some crack on you. Yeah, like <laughs> you got like one little speck of like a uh, you know like a piece of tree or something in the backseat of your car, underneath the car mat, and it's like 
that's enough, you're going to jail. Like, you're just like, oh shit. Like, I don't know. Why are you so careless with your pee? Like, why does all your weed make it in, into the joint? How does it get under the car mat? Do you just ride around with the car mat, like, semi up under the driver's seat? <laughs> Cause that's, that, I'm cognizant of that shit, that bothers me, that's an eyesore, I'm like, let me put that down. Let me go to the left hand side, I don't know what to do with my left foot, so let me just <laughs> move this over and cover up this speck of marijuana. I'm, uh, I, I can't say that I've ever partaken in tree in, in my own vehicle. Nor should you. Or, I think it's a very bad idea, um, just for the sole fact that there's a lot of rules in place, specifically like targeting people operating vehicles and being under the influence of any substance. Um, I wasn't saying you're using it. I was just saying like you might have rolled up in the, you know, like yeah. like before you go to somebody's house, right? You like I've seen people like they roll up on the way. My whole thing was like, you know, like people get mad like I'm driving and then they'll be like rolling up because we're on the way somewhere and then like. You know, an inconsistency in the road happens, yeah. and then some, you know, a little bit bumps up, like, fuck! And they like act like, and I'm just like, how? shit's everywhere. Not even everywhere, sometimes like a little bit. And that's what I'm like, they still get that shit up. So I'm just saying, like, some of the people I roll with, they got people smoking floor weed. <laughs> <laughs> just wanna say, tangent alert. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say, in general, like, I need to do a much better job of keeping my car clean. I think that's really <laughs> what it comes down to. <laughs> And also, you could just play it off. You got kids and be like, no, nah, that's, that's clearly grass. I have children. They've tracked it in the car. <laughs> you don't see the six car seats in the back? <laughs> six car seats. Well, <laughs> driving this is a minivan. <laughs> driving a Honda Odyssey. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense how it gets under the floor, man. It's a, it's a minivan. <laughs> I get it now, I get it. I oh, did those stone go in the back? No, that's just doing that. Yeah, because when you flip the seats and then stuff just goes everywhere. <laughs> All right, so uh, I mean, about these games, though. About <laughs> these games. How about that? 